The city of Cleveland launched its A Home for Every Neighbor initiative back in February. And the program's primary goal is to combat the city's unhoused issue, which hasn't slowed for years. This morning, News 5's Bryn Caswell joins us live from downtown Cleveland, following through on if this program is making any difference after almost six months since its launch. Good morning, Bryn. Good morning. So the city admits it was off to a little bit of a slow start. After analyzing the city's needs over the past six months, the administration realized in order to achieve the program's goals, it really needed to ramp up funding and other resources. There's no question across the board, it's increased in, in uh, the city of Cleveland and the county. In February, the city of Cleveland unveiled an ambitious plan to combat the city's unhoused issue in the initiative, a home for every neighbor. Six months later, Mayor Justin Bibbs' advisor for major projects, Emily Collins, says the program is finally in motion. It took us a little longer than we had hoped to get to that point, but we are now at the stage of a soft launch. The initiative's primary goal was to rehouse a minimum of 150 unsheltered people in 18 months. Collins says despite the slow start, the city is now projected to reach that goal the end of 2024. It's a fast clip, uh, soft launch, but then once we're confident in the workflow, confident in how we can um, quickly resolve someone's uh, crisis, then yeah, I think we, we can hum along pretty quickly. Due to emergency legislation passed by Cleveland City Council in June, the city is now authorized to enter partnerships with a national unsheltered consulting firm, Clutch Consulting, and other local nonprofits to develop a plan to make that goal obtainable. City Council President Blaine Griffin says council also recently allocated around $2 million of 2023 leftover funding to get the project in motion again. Right now we're in the summer months, but let's make it clear uh, at the end of the day, uh, we really, really have to prepare uh, for what we know is going to happen in the fall season into the winter season. Griffin believes this is a good use of taxpayer dollars because the issue is impacting each corner of Cleveland. We have put several dollars into this project because once again, this is not just a downtown or a central business district issue. Uh, we're starting to see this in the middle and edge neighborhoods, neighborhoods like Lee Harbor, neighborhoods like Bel Air Pyramids, neighborhoods like Shanker Square. Collins says this is a problem the city can't ignore and must continue to face head on. People will continue to enter, you know, become newly unsheltered. Uh, so we need to make sure that we're offering support on a continuing basis. How we do that, I think, is a question. So this initiative really is a work in progress, again, with the city's goal to re-shelter at least 150 people by the end of 2024. Tiffany. Well, Bryn, let's dig a little bit deeper here into how the city says this program works exactly when it comes in to getting people into this housing. Right, Tiffany. So the city says once it secures housing and an individual is willing to participate in this program, that individual will be offered a rent at a subsidized price. And then from there, that individual will be working with nonprofits to get proper government identification and then a job and hopefully a steady income. All right, Bryn, nice to see you this morning. Thanks for bringing that to us. Appreciate it.